Hello, I'm Mark Groom. I'm Jordan Fulton. I'm Andrew Tostaguza. I'm Thomas Dickey. I'm Dima Nischewski. We made this video to kick off our school's new video club. And we chose to illustrate the concept of projectile motion through catapults to show how all common motion is governed and predictable using physics. Used in design, our catapults in this case, physics helps to improve a design and make it work. But when physics are ignored or used poorly in design, the design will fail. For those reasons, physics and the ability to apply them is important in the understanding of our world. The ballista is a catapult that uses the torque of twisted rope to propel an object forward. This model of a ballista consists of two sets of twisted ropes, into which we have some wooden limbs inserted. We pull these back and twist the rope, producing lots of pull. Around back here we have another rope that connects these two limbs here. Attached to which we have a wooden saddle with a 1.6 inch hold rope that we can pull the egg. This sabot rides along the tape for track, which is a work. Pulling the sabot back increases the torque on the ropes. And upon release, you should spell the sabot and the egg forward. The trebuchet is basically a medieval weapon that uses the simple mechanical lever to throw objects. So we built an A-frame in order to support this lever. In order to accelerate it quickly, we will add 180 pounds of weight. To the end of it. We will also attach a rope to the other end of the lever to stop the forward momentum of it, but allow the egg to continue in its path. So we spent a week building this thing, and now we finally get to see it launch. It's definitely going to smother Andrew's ballista. So, the reason this contraption didn't work is number one, there was just too much weight and the wood couldn't handle it. Number two, all of that weight swinging around this one axis gave at one point all the weight was on, which made it snap even more. And number three, the rope which was used to make it stop at a certain angle had enough give so that when it came up to 90 degrees, it just didn't stop, it kept going. Three ways to make this contraption better would be number one, Use a rope that's static, so it has no give whatsoever, it stops it at the exact angle we want. Number two, better wood that can handle the weight, maybe two by six or something. And number three, less weight. Oh my god. I knew all along that there was going to fail, because there's this weight base, but this one's torsion based. Tomorrow, this is going to win by far. Hey, that's the park where my kids play. You guys going to clean up that mess? No problem, sir. Using the mathematics of physics, we'll be able to tell exactly where this egg's going to land. Knowing the egg's initial velocity, the height at which it was launched, the angle at which it was launched, the downward acceleration of gravity, and ignoring air resistance because it's just such a perfect day and the egg is so aerodynamic, we know all the factors that contribute to the egg's trajectory. So, we'll be able to collect it when it lands. In what? That trash can over there. Let's get the angle first. So, that looks uh, about 45 degrees to me. Yep, I'll say about 45 degrees. That looks like about a meter and a half to me. Uh, I'd have to agree. So it went from there to there in about one second, and that's about 18 meters. So the velocity is 18 meters a second. To find where the red egg is going to land, we're going to use the formula y equals the initial height at launch plus x times the tangent of theta minus 9.81 meters per second per second, or the downward acceleration of gravity, over 2 times the velocity at the time of the release, times the cosine of theta, squared times x squared. This formula defines the path of the object, in this case, that's our egg, in which both the x and y axes are measured in meters. Theta, in this case, is the angle at which the egg was launched. We have all of our information, so we are ready to plug in. We launched the egg at 1.5 meters, at 45 degrees, 
and at 18 meters per second, which we multiply by the cosine of 45, or the angle at which the egg was launched, to get just the horizontal velocity of the egg. Since we're looking for the distance at which the egg's height is zero, we set the equation to zero, and through the quadratic formula, find x to be 34.46 meters. And so, the egg is going to land right here. 